Cardinals at the Rams, one of the premier games on the week here. This is a battle of two teams that, look, at this point, we knew it was going to be that way with the Rams, but now the Cardinals have Super Bowl aspirations as well. Well, This is two two teams that have really performed well here early on in the season. Steven, you are looking at making a play in this one, and it looks like you're trying to lean towards the Cardinals. I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I am thinking about it. Uh, there is a plus five still out there. Most of the the books have this down to plus four and a half. It's kind of been floating around there all week. I'm just looking at these teams, right? And considering that Tampa Bay was a short favorite last week, and now Arizona is a pretty decent underdog in this game. Arizona's defense is much better than Tampa Bay's D through three weeks in terms of EPA per play, DVOA, and yards per play allowed. Arizona and the Rams offense, both top three in yards per play, both top five in DVOA and EPA. Tampa Bay, that small favorite. Now Arizona, four and a half to five points. That's telling us that Arizona is almost a touchdown worse than Tampa. I don't believe that. I think Kyler Murray in this offense is elite. And I think his mobility and being able to make something out of off scripted plays is a huge weapon for this offense that the GOAT Tom Brady doesn't have at this point. Now, they're still awesome. I'm not saying the Bucs are bad, but I'm just saying that the Cardinals are more multiple on offense than Tom Brady is. So uh, in terms of PFF grade, Kyler Murray's actually also been a little bit better than Matthew Stafford this year. So... I think this line might be too high considering how well the Cardinals have played on offense this year and their ability to maybe generate a little bit of a pass rush. So talk me off of it, guys. I'm, I'm, not, I haven't, I'm not convinced yet, but I'm, I'm starting to lean that way. Brad, we have a total of 54 and a half or 55 in this game. We have a team in the Rams that I think would be pretty surprising to people that they are the fastest pace team situation neutral in the NFL right now uh everything seems to be clicking on offense obviously cooper cooper cup already basically having a a monster season if things go for him a definitely a career year for him the upgraded quarterback for the rams is certainly visible you can tell they're able to run plays that they want to run that they weren't able to run whenever jared goff was a quarterback for them on the other side you look at this cardinals team and i guess they're getting it the, i think i guess the thing that's shocking to me and i want your opinion on this is they're getting it done without really help from DeAndre Hopkins so far. I mean, he had a decent week one, week two, week three, basically non-existent out there. And I guess that shows you how deep the talent level is here on the Cardinals, where you can one week it be Rondell Moore, the next week it be A.J. Green and Chris Kirk or whatever it might be that they're able to still get it done with these other guys. But it's at least a minimally concerning, a little bit concerning to me that DeAndre Hopkins is getting these, this shadow coverage and they're not able to, to find ways to get him involved in the offense we know he's going to get the Jalen Ramsey treatment this week so if that's the case is this team good enough to beat a Rams team with a Christian Kirk and an AJ Green and stuff like that I mean that's what I think we really at the core of this have to try and figure out because he's he's going to get Jalen Ramsey these these shadow corners have been able to shut him down so far yeah well you know they that's obviously what they invested in in the offseason wasn't it is it was we we can't just rely on Hopkins chucking it up to him 12 times a game so let, let's get these let's get these ancillary weapons um but i i think it also speaks to cliff being not that creative you know i think there was a stat we gave in in the offseason where like the the cardinals had the highest percentage of just backside backside curl routes you know they they literally just put hopkins over on the on the left side of the field on his own and have him run a, a 10 yard dig and uh, you know i think it speaks to cliff not being that creative and obviously on the other side of the ball you've got someone who kind of <laughs> is what cliff wants to be um i think that the cardinals are a good matchup for the rams although you know the the rams have the edge in this matchup um you know that Murray is 0-4 against the um, against the Rams since he started there. And I think if you think about the way he wants to play, he wants to get out of the pocket and start making things happen. Um, but And then, he, you know, he wants to throw deep when he does that. He wants explosive plays. But the Rams' entire defense is set up to stop explosive plays. You know, they, they'll, they'll try and keep him in the pocket. But if he does break out and look downfield, they're going to have two safeties deep because that's, that's just what they do. Um, and then on on the other side of the ball, I'm not sure who covers Cooper Cup, right? You know the the Cardinals D 
defense is, is strong on the defensive line, but the Rams are the second best pass blocking line in, in the league at the minute. Um, so if, if they keep, you know, if they keep JJ Watt out of the backfield, then uh, I'm, I'm not sure who's covering these Rams receivers, especially with Deshaun Jackson. Like he, he was running wide open all over the field last week. Stafford could have hit him for three touchdowns. So mm. um, yeah, I, I don't know about the game. I've just said a lot of words with, without much to take away, but I would say I think the Rams are going to score a lot of points and um, I, I'm not sure Kyla might have some trouble keeping up. Yeah, I was the only bet I'm kind of looking at is Rams team total. Haven't played that one yet, but it's certainly something that I could see myself coming around to. I think the Rams score a lot of points in this game as well, whether that is because they have to keep up and they have to go score for score or because they're just able to exploit the the defense here, the Cardinals. So I do like that, but uh, I am very, very interested in this game. Super looking forward to this one. One of my favorite games uh, of the short season so far to see what these teams are made of.